cool. My name's Daisy. I'm Lisette. My name's Jamie. I'm Isabella, and we're from Ogallala High School. And this is our poem, Dress Code. Code 5031, student appearance for Ogallala High School reads, any manner of dress, hairstyle, makeup, or personal cleanliness that constitute a threat to the safety, welfare, health, or morals of the student or others that violates any statute that interferes with the education process or that school officials can reasonably predict will interfere with the education process or that causes or may cause excessive maintenance problems in the school may be grounds for corrective or disciplinary action. Rule one. No shoulders showing, no distracting hairstyles, no pants that drag on the floor, no biker shorts, no yoga pants, no crop tops, no leggings. Rulers will be applied to the knees matched with the hem of sparkly rainbow shorts worn by second graders to ensure length measured in imperial inches. Teachers and other administrators will be enforcers informing sixth graders that their bra straps are exposed. Reprimanding gawking students who giggle and whisper is out of their jurisdiction. You're always going to be breaking the dress code in at least one way. They'll tell you you have a body you deserve to be ashamed of. Mm. Rule two. When accused of breaking the dress code, you must comply and you must change. If your stomach is showing, you'll be taken out of class. If your shoulders are out, the principal may tell you to put them away. Spaghetti straps could be enough to have you sent to the office. While well, everybody calls you indecent. Tear off the shirt you're wearing and put on a better, wiser one. Rule three, your comfort does not matter. Maybe this shirt isn't the color you like. Maybe the fabric is too itchy. Maybe the collar of the shirt of a stranger suffocates you and cuts into your skin. But none of that matters as long as no one has to acknowledge that you have a body that doesn't exist for them. Your feelings can always be repaired and the skin will be fine tomorrow. Rule four, a boy's pursuit of education is more important than yours. My education as a girl could never be as important as his. The boys that gawk and gush because they can see skin on my shoulders are more worthy of a comfortable education than I am. So just don't break the rules. Easy. Just don't express yourself. Don't cause distractions in the classroom. Don't be comfortable and confident in yourself. Easy. Easy. Pick your poison in the morning and hope that you can make it through the day without distracting other students or teachers. Yes, even teachers. The school's purpose is to educate you, but, but all they're, they're teaching, teaching you is that your body doesn't belong to you. It, it belongs, belongs to all the people that objectify you. you.